Hi everybody, I'm just uh, sitting in the cockpit of my uh, home simulator which is based on a uh, Fletcher FU24. This can also be flown as a Cresco and you can fly it single pilot IFR uh, or you can load a new profile just with the real, real basic gauges for VFR and uh, fly it as a as a top dresser, which the aircraft originally was. Um, we just got it set up, so um, sort of multi-purpose. We were sitting on the runway at Rotorua in New Zealand, and uh, we're just going to run through um, a full startup uh, as per checklist, um, and just show you how we can do a pretty much a um, almost a 100% um, startup based on the real aircraft. Um, might be a couple of slight changes but we'll, we'll do it as per the, the uh, start list and uh, show you guys how it all works. So I'll run through it um, nice and slow so uh, we can see it all works. So according to the uh, before engine start, um, park brakes, park brakes set, all switches are off, as they are, fuel quantity is checked and it's got about 80%. Uh, power lever is idle, propeller control is full feather, and the fuel condition lever is in the cutoff position. Um, the fuel shutoff is on, which is pushed in. See that? It's just sitting there at the moment. And the so now we can master battery switch on. Wing flaps up and ready for an engine start. So, engine start, master uh, avionics on. That's coming to life. The Garmin is coming into life. Generator switch on. Propeller area is clear. Uh, fuel pump front and rear lights on so check the fuel pump on and the fuel pump uh, lights on there. Uh, fuel flow is confirmed on here. Now starter switch so when we hit the starter switch it's telling us to uh, check the oil and pressure for an increase. NG should stable at 12% and then we're going to uh, throw the fuel condition lever into idle. Uh, and then we'll check for fuel flow once it's started the IGT monitor. NG should be 52% uh, minimum. We'll check the engine instruments and we'll announce the others. So we'll just quickly check the announce the others first. It's all good. We'll check the prop uh, pitch full forward. And now we can hit the starter. I'm looking for an all pressure rise. In one should stabilize at twelve percent. Lever forward. Torque stabilizing. ITTs, good temperature. And looking for the N1 to stabilize. Just a minute. Cool. Engine's on, so we've got our amps and volts are good. Fuel pressure is still good. 
Yeah, that's a good start. Okay. Carry on through our checklist here. Um, the outsiders are all extinguished. Um, lights on. Radio is required. So, just get our radio sorted out. Nav's already tuned into Rotorua. Set our comm radio. Taz, system test okay. That's all good. Okay, carrying our list. Color condition lever is full forward. Taxiing, or take off, park brake set, controls are free and easy, flight instruments checked and set, RO, between 940, so, yeah, there, feels good, fuel flow is good. Get our raid out for 500 feet. All engine gauges in the green. Set our heating indicator for the runway heating. Set our course needle for the runway heading. Fuel quantity is checked, uh, fuel shutoff is in, which we checked before. Elevator trim for takeoff, so we're going to go uh, nose up about 10 degrees on here. Okay, our lever is an idle, static P-tot heat is on. Strobe lights, text lights those required. Landing light goes on for takeoff. All announced that is extinguished. Wing flaps 20 degrees. And park brakes released. Fuel condition lever goes to full forward. You should see an increase in the N1. Prop boost for a minute. RTST still stable. And set for takeoff. So flaps are up 20 degrees. Uh, announce here is checked. Rotate climb. So we can uh, do a takeoff. We'll set. off. Okay. So we're going to hold the brakes on. An increase in the torque. Roll down the runway. Run air speed at 60 knots. Last eight knots, flaps up. E speed's good, gauge is good, tip's good, all in the green. And there we go. That's a start up and take off uh, according to the checklist. Landing lights off. There's another test on the announced theatre, is all good? Let's turn off to the right here and have 
a look at the scenery um, prepare 3D and this is the uh, Orbix uh, New Zealand add-on Mount, Mount Tatawira in the background there Lake Tatawira Throttle back a little bit, just get it running at 50% torque. See the uh, the Orbix scenery; it's pretty good. And the bush and that's all nice and dense. Tune here. Come back in over this over the city is the airfield. There's the city, the lake, Lake Rotorua. There we go guys, thanks for watching.